Okay, today's movie is the 1966 very low budget horror film Manos, The Hands of Fate. Now I'm very intrigued by the sound of this, so let's check it out. It does look quite homemade so far. This direction is interesting. Why is Manos in quotation marks? Uh oh, the fuzz. All right, Mister. I see you have a tail light problem. <laughs> no excuse. Running late. First vacation. This director loves filming the backs of people's heads. Back. I'm loving this jazz flute score. I see Ron Burgundy playing this. This is a really long preamble. We get that they're on holiday, we get that they're lost. <laughs> this field's montage is long. What's going on here? It seems a lot longer than it should have been. Ooh, sinister jazz flute. We're headed for trouble, I could tell. A little bit of editing might have been good here. <sighs> Just get where you're going. So far, this has just been nine minutes of aimless driving around. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. <laughs> People love it when out of towners gawp at them like that. I am Torgo. He does look like he's got fleas. Well, Torgo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. Ugh, what a ham. Just no get on with it. No way. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. This is acting you can smell. It does seem kind of like the director had heard about films, but may have never really seen one before. Well, Torgo, in or out? Very well. The master will be very Oh, disturbed. his staff's got a creepy hand on it. <laughs> What's he got padding on his upper legs for? Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. <laughs> you must be. You cannot stay. The master... He better have some freaky deformity under those pants. <laughs> okay, that's a really, really long shot. Look at this. Picture again, not you know, not a two minute shot of the couple being boring. Okay, that's quite creepy, that's quite well done. Okay, we've seen the picture now. That dog's not going to make it to the end of the movie. That must be your master. The looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. The master likes you. <sighs> nothing will happen to you. He likes That's the you. way you know it. He is with us always. 
Michael. It's about the tenth Michael. shot of that painting. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. <laughs> it'll make you relax. I'll go out and face the wolf. Yeah, that dog's not coming back. Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? <laughs> that is the worst entering a door acting Did I've ever wait? seen. Sexy saxophone, watch out! Has he got two sets of eyebrows on? <laughs> Why would you just stand still while all this mental behavior is happening? <laughs> He's only small, you could snap him like a twig. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. And I so find where did her headscarf come from? Because she wasn't wearing phone? it in the last scene. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning. Oh, we're back on the painting again. Forgotten. I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. On with the killing. I'll understand. I just hope She'll Debbie understand. Will... She's my baby. She'll understand. I hope so, darling. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. <laughs> Say, where is she? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my God. Debbie. Debbie. Debbie? And now the headscarf's gone again. Mike, I'm scared. We'll find her. Don't worry. Maybe start looking. Looking for your child who's gone missing. They're not looking very hard. Debbie? But you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run and away from us. And the headscarf's back again. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting half an hour for. Mike, it's horrible. What's with the sandals? I think it's very hard to have mystique if you're wearing sandals. Especially supernatural mystique. Togo needs to be killed. <laughs> he definitely has two sets of eyebrows on. I don't know what's going on there. I have never seen two sets of eyebrows like that before. I know this is a big call, but I've got to say, Togo is the worst actor I've ever seen. Oh, sexy saxophone again. I don't think I'm ready for a sexy saxophone with a young child in the room, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Someone needs to be taught the concept of editing. Just a basic concept. Hide your tree. Okay, we get it. It didn't need to take five minutes. You can't be a supernatural leader and have sandals on. It just does not look right. Oh, okay. Because we hadn't seen the painting for 20 minutes at a stretch before, so we need to be reminded of that. the killing please that's a pretty jazzy caftan hear us for we are faithful and thou art our god just get on with it arise my wives 
Now he's sorry he woke up those wives. If you persist in this foolishness, your usefulness will come to an end. Oh, they're giant red hands on his caftan. That's pretty cool. Those gowns are very unflattering. Manos loves women. Oh my god. <laughs> this ain't me going for about 10 minutes. When the master hears of this, he will They're just be saying furious. the same things over and over again. You are all mad. Oh, mad bitch fight. A lot of you are mad, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Call me old fashioned. I just think bitch fighting in sand is not that sexy. <laughs> I'm in, is it? Is this doing it for you? <laughs> Come on, Torgo's gotta be killed. Please, something's gonna happen. I wouldn't touch him with a ten foot pole, but maybe with that pole. Oh god, Torgo. Just move more quickly. <laughs> this is painful. Dear god. Oh my god. How much can you milk a standing up scene? It should not go on for two minutes. Just to stand up! <laughs> is this is the kind of acting where it's like here? he's never actually seen another human. He doesn't really know how they behave. I know of your visits to the human. Die! Oh god, just kill him. Is that the guy from Sparks? <laughs> this horror film ain't big enough for the two of us. Now that's bad moustache continuity. Didn't he have a little moustache a minute ago? Now it's big. <laughs> this film is like a soap opera where things happen more slowly than in real time. What? What? That's creepy. <laughs> oh my god. The cat fight is still going on. Are they fighting? Or are they just rolling around? Oh my god. <laughs> We're 50 minutes in and nothing has actually happened. Apart from some fighting in the sand, staring at a painting, and Torgo just being a total ham. Stop! What foolishness is this? For a horror film, there hasn't really been any horror so far. Apart from Torgo's acting. And what is the deal with those legs? Will we ever know? Oh, just get on with it. Now we've got to have some interpretive dance. Yeah, slapping's not, not an effective method of killing. Is rubbing. So they're trying to shake him to death? Threatening to hit him? If I was Manos, I would not be pleased. They can't even do a simple human sacrifice. What are they good for?
So was he dead? He's coming back to life? Or have they just not killed him yet? Hand cooked and fell off. <laughs> At least Torvo came in handy for something. We've got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. I can't stand it much longer either, frankly, God Margaret. Destroy you. <laughs> an awful lot of slapping in this movie. Even though you beat me. I do like how all the wives have got big pants on underneath their ceremonial robes. I can't go on. Take Debbie and run. No, darling, we'll make it. Let's go. <sighs> Bloody women. Always spraining their damn ankles. We'll have to go back. Okay. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Girl, I'm scared. Where's my yeah, pocket? that's a great plan. Please, Debbie, not now. <laughs> Go back to the home of the cult that you were just escaping from. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Focus. See out of focus. What happened? <laughs> Is that it? Oh, another driving montage. Welcome. They're part of the cult now. Oh, and the little kid as well. Okay. Oh my God, even the end credits are excruciatingly long and drawn out. Don't forget wow, there was a director of photography? It was a screenplay? Well, Man Lost the Hands of Fate, what can you say about that? It was a bit of an ordeal, I've got to be honest. This is like the kind of film equivalent of going to an amateur dramatics play. It's like a film made by people who've never really seen a film, acted by people who've never really seen human behaviour. It was long, it was drawn out, nothing really happens. The acting is bad, the script is bad, the photography is terrible, and the editing is pretty much non-existent. I don't know if I could really recommend Manos, The Hands of Fate, except as a kind of morbidly interesting thing. It's like the cinematic equivalent of a car crash. You're kind of curious to see, but really, you shouldn't look. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.